I have chosen today, the hottest day of the year so far, to film under two studio lights a try on haul where I'm going to be taking my clothes off and putting them on and taking them off and putting them on and boiling to death. Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm here with a video I'm so excited to film because I just love hauls. I love filming hauls. I'm super excited to show you all of this stuff. And I've actually acquired quite a lot of clothes. Like I was planning this video in my head and I was like, I don't actually think I've bought that much. And then I took it all out of my like cupboard and the bags that they were in and I was like, oh, all right, I actually have bought quite a lot. So today I'm here with a collective summer clothing haul. I say summer loosely, some of it isn't like just summer. You could wear it in the winter if you wanted to. Oh, I'm filming without my mic. I'm filming without my microphone. Well, I hope you don't mind. I've started now and I've set everything up and I haven't attached my external mic, so I'm just gonna carry on. So anyway, I am going to start. Okay, so the first lot of clothes I have for this video are actually have actually really kindly been sent out to me by a lovely brand called wearall.com. Now, this is a website that I hadn't heard of until they got in touch with me, but oh my God, they have so many nice clothes. They have a lot of more like indie clothing, if you, if you will. Um, a lot of like really in, clothes. So yeah, it's just a really cool online website and they let me pick a couple of things. So I'm going to show you the things I got off there first because they're things I might not have bought otherwise but because they've been so lovely and sent them to me I thought I'm going to try it, going to see if it like flatters my figure or I can pull it off or whatever so I'm super excited. So the first thing I got off this website was this pair of jeans. Now I decided that I was going to show you these first because I actually wore these yesterday and got so many questions on my Snapchat being like where are your jeans from? Where are your jeans from? So they're from a website called wearall.com they're these like high-waisted blue denim jeans with these rips in now I've never worn ripped jeans before ever um, so I wanted to try it but I just didn't know if I was cool enough to pull these off but I think these look so nice like I actually really like them and um, they're perfect for summer if it's like a little bit colder because they're still like that light summery denim but they're still like jeans so I thought this was perfect for the time of year that it is now. Yeah I got these in a size 10 as you can see they're quite figure flattering. I have rolled them up a little bit at the bottom because they're ever so slightly too short but that's just because I'm five foot seven. so if you're gonna order off the website I'm five seven, and a size 10 fits me perfectly apart from it's ever so slightly too short so I just decided to roll the bottom of the jeans up which is kind of trendy anyway and this worked fine for me so I'd, I'd recommend ordering. The sizes are pretty pretty bang on so yeah these these are my new favorite pair of jeans I think okay so the next thing I got off this website now I've seen these in so many places is this gingham crop top now as you can see it's like this classic like black and white gingham but it's got this really nice like floral embroidery embroidery is on everything at the moment like everything so it was no surprise when the website was filled with embroidered stuff that is a bit of a theme throughout this entire haul everything is covered in embroidery. I'm not complaining, I love it. Um, and I'm a huge fan of this top. Now, as you can see when it's on, it's quite like a square neckline. So it's, I actually really like that. It's got these like frills. And I think this would look so nice with just like denim shorts in the summer. So I'm, I'm really excited to wear that. Okay, the next thing I think is absolutely gorgeous. Now they had loads of things like this on their website, super similar, but also these are in all the shops at the moment. Primark, New Look, everywhere is stocking these gorgeous like pinstripe shirts with the embroidery like down the front now I ordered this in pink just because I didn't really like the blue one because <laughs> whenever I wear anything that's blue and stripy it reminds me of the boy in the striped pajamas so it just makes me really sad so I always avoid like stripy blue and white things that is a really strange thing don't know why I just told you that but basically yeah so I thought I'd order it in pink it was like in pink or in blue so I was like it's a bit more summery as well um, so I really love this I think it's just so nice I think tucked into those jeans this would look so super pretty and I think shirts are just like really nice I don't know why I never used to be a shirt kind of gal I always saw people wearing shirts and I was like I cannot pull it off but I've changed my mind a little bit now and I actually think they kind of suit me okay now the next thing I got off of this website is the most stunning dress I've honestly ever seen I wish this had come a couple of days earlier and I would have worn it to the event I went to last week but it is this gorgeous like tied at the back bodycon dress with again embroidered roses on the like neckline and I just think this is so super pretty like it goes down to the knee like it's quite a long bodycon dress with this absolutely gorgeous detailing of the lace and the ribbon as well and I just think this is so so pretty I can't remember the prices off the top of my head for these but what I will do is link every single item down in the description so you can see exactly 
like the exact one that I ordered and then how it looks on me. So as you can see, it's just quite figure hugging, um, which is something that I don't usually wear, but something that I thought I'll give it a go and I love this. So now I just need somewhere to be able to wear that, but everybody needs a black dress and it's always gonna come in handy. So the next thing I ordered off their website is this. Now I'm not gonna wear this until I'm more tanned, but it is this like off the shoulder crop top with the off the shoulder bit being lace. And it's basically like tie it bodycon material here. And then you've got this really lovely netted lace. And originally I kind of wanted to order this in white, but it was out of stock, I think, at the time. But I just really like the style of this. And I think with a tan, this color can work so pretty. At the moment, it kind of blends in with my face a little bit. So I'm gonna have to wait until I'm more tanned. But I think when I am more tanned, this and a pair of denim shorts or even the denim jeans, they're so super pretty. And this is just like a little bit fancier a little bit more like going out and I really like that. All right, so that was the last thing off the wearall.com website. I'd really recommend checking it out if you've never heard of it. Super, super lovely company and the clothes and the quality of the clothes are all really, really good. So I'd really recommend that. So now just moving on to a couple of other random bits that I've bought over the last couple of weeks. And I'm gonna start with what I have picked up in Primark. Now, you might have seen this in my vlog the other day, but the other day I went to London and it was 28 degrees and I had taken a woolly top. Like it was a t-shirt, but it was made out of wool. So I was boiling. So I went into Primark and had to emergency purchase something summery. So I picked this. Now, as you can see, this is like a, almost not like a bandeau, it's longer than one of those, but like, I don't know, when it ran through the till, it ran through the till as a bralette. Like this is not a bralette, but it's that kind of like short cropped, like quite figure hugging material. And what I love about this is the like really tiny green floral pattern. Green is not a color I would usually pick up, but, but yeah, desperate times, desperate measures and all of that. So I picked this up and it's actually in like two sizes too big, but it fits me like pretty much perfectly. Straps are ever so slightly too long, but like it fits me so well. I don't know why this would fit somebody. Like this is a size 14. I would usually buy this in a size 10. So I was like, Okay, Primark, cool, love your sizing. Yeah, I'm really happy with that actually. It was five pounds and I just needed something to wear. So that was how I came to own that. Now also from Primark, I actually bought this like bikini top. I don't think this has to be worn as a bikini top. Like I'm pretty sure if you were wearing high waisted shorts and you were feeling super confident, you could probably get away with wearing this. So it's just got this really nice like detailing at the back with the straps as you can see when it's on. Um, and I really like this. I like it a lot. I like the little detailing here. Like that's gorgeous. You can decide how long the straps are by like moving that up and down. Yeah, I just thought that was super pretty. This was six pounds from Primark. Primark, so yeah, there you go. Okay, so the next shop I went to was Forever 21. Now, the Forever 21 in London is my weakness. I could go in there and say, I'm not getting anything, and I would still come out with something because I just can't go in and not buy stuff. It's actually really bad. So the first thing I bought was this crop top, and now I actually bought this for my mum because she wanted something to wear to the festival we went to on the weekend, if you haven't seen my vlog. I went to I went to Radio One's big weekend, and my mum wanted a top, but then she decided she didn't like the one I bought her which was this so now this is mine so I'm including it in my haul and this is like this red kind of like crochet material it's obviously very see-through you'd wear like either a top underneath it or like a really nice bralette underneath it and this was six pounds and I thought it was just really nice it's very cropped really pretty and I love the like burgundy shade as well so couldn't really say no and it's just just a basic festival vibe-esque top really. Okay, so the next thing I got from Forever 21 was this. Now I actually bought this about a month ago so I can't remember if I told you about it already but I thought I'd include it because it was one of my most recent purchases and it is this like black strappy top but the reason I bought this apart from the fact that it was only $1.99 was for the back. Now I absolutely love this you can see it better when I've got it on but it's got this gorgeous crisscross back and then like a really low low V at the back which I think is so pretty and just again quite festival vibe E which I love. Now an accessory I bought from Forever 21, don't judge me I know this is very 2012 but I actually bought this flower crown like yeah um, because I'm going as I've said or I've been by the time this goes up to Radio One's big weekend and I'm not going to go to any of the festivals just purely because I'm not really like into festivals and like I wouldn't want to go to Leeds festival I wouldn't want to go to like Reading Fest or any of those um, but this is like in my 
home city and it's only for one day so I thought if I'm going I want to do it proper so I bought a flower crown so I'm gonna wear this to be honest I think this is quite pretty this was three pounds from forever 21 it's like white and you tie it up so there you go embrace your inner 2011 people there was nothing wrong with the flower crown trend there was quite a lot wrong with it but it's fine okay so going back to Primark I forgot I'd bought these I actually also bought these sunglasses again this was in an emergency because I didn't have any with me so if I try these on I'll just do this now but these look like this I do actually quite like these like they're mirrored they're reflective I'm not always a huge fan but I do really like them they feel very plasticky but like for two pounds what can you expect and they saved my day in London and stopped me from squinting which gives me a headache so basically it was it was another case of I needed them so I bought these now I've also got two pairs of shoes to show you but the last item of clothing that I bought this month was this mesh top from New Look now I wore this to the premiere that I went to last week quite a lot of you asked me where it was from so it's from New Look and it was £10 it's actually inside out there you go that's better um so yeah so yeah as you can see this just looks really good with the top under it I mean like obviously you're gonna wear a top under that or again a really nice bralette but I'm not confident enough for that so just like a strappy top goes perfectly under this and I love the embroidery again you can see a theme running through this entire video if it's got embroidery on it I love it basically so yeah now I have two pairs of shoes to show you which I absolutely love and they're not very molly usually I'm more of a converse or mainly just converse kind of gal and I will just wear them to death but this month I have acquired two pairs of heels and I love them both so so much so this is the first pair I got these from Dorothy Perkins and I needed a pair of black heels because I didn't have any that I could wear just like to an event or to a party or with a dress I just didn't have any shoes so these were £21 from Dorothy Perkins and they're just very generic black sandal heels and they're really comfy super easy to walk in now trust me if I'm saying they're easy to walk in they're gonna be easy because I literally can't walk in heels it's actually so embarrassing like I don't know where some of these girls have learned to like walk in heels but I missed that stage in life and I just can't do it so I can just about manage in these and I really like them because yeah they're not too high they don't make me too tall and um, yeah now the second pair of heels are my favorite thing in this universe now these are from river island and it is this pair of gorgeous like lace up the ankle kind of heel with the embroidery on the back now if you haven't already gathered by the amount of times i've said the word embroidery i'm quite a fan of it so as you can see these would match perfectly with like that dress that i tried on or with the jeans and one of the tops of the embroidery these are just so so stunning now these are from river island they are quite expensive for a pair of shoes i would say but i absolutely love them so 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 much like i just love these shoes really so yeah guys that is everything in the haul now i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed seeing a try on haul as well because it's so much better when you get to see the clothes on people so I hope you have enjoyed it, if you have be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and if you've never watched one of my videos before be sure to head down in the description bit or like near there and hit the subscribe button because that really helps me out, we're getting kind of closer to 70,000 subscribers and it would mean the world if you could go down, down there and subscribe because that would be pretty fab. Other than that I'm going to go, if you didn't see the vlog I uploaded yesterday from when I went to the festival then you should definitely check that out because that's something I've never done before and vlogging it was a pretty decent experience i tell you now so yeah i'm gonna go thank you so so much for watching as always i will see you on saturday with another weekly vlog bye